Hi there, and welcome to another blog post on chrisryan.ca. I'm sitting here with, uh, with a, a lawyer here in HRM and also a friend, Stephen Ling. I've personally used Stephen for many real estate transactions from myself and uh, family members, as well as many clients. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Stephen Ling, as Chris mentioned. I'm a partner here with Landry McGill Reed. This law firm has been in Dartmouth and Halifax for 35 years, and we represent all areas of legal practice. My particular area of practice is, to, is real estate, all real estate transactions. I've been practicing for 21 years, and I'm happy to be here with Chris Ryan today and ask any questions you might have. Great. So one question that I'm asked on a regular basis is once, once you, if I'm representing a buyer and seller in the agreement of purchase and sale, there is a condition there that it's, it's called a legal review condition. So could you just explain what that is for and is there, are there fees associated with you reviewing an accepted agreement of purchase and sale? No, there's no fees involved in reviewing the agreement of purchase and sale. That clause is kind of a final check uh, for the lawyer to finally review the agreements that are written by the real estate agent. <clears throat> And so uh, we want to make sure that the, the client that we're representing that's been referred to us, the buyer or the seller, clearly understands the agreement and clearly understands the, the clauses. And, uh, and we view with them either by email and often by phone. I would personally call them to make sure they understand it. And uh, that's what the purpose of the clause is. It's not to rewrite the agreement or change the clause that the parties agreed to, but check to see if there's any legal issues with the agreement. Okay, and there is a timeline associated with that. It's part of the due diligence uh, for both buyer and seller. So what I do, as you know, as soon as that accepted agreement of purchase and sale is done, I actually administer it to the lawyer, to the banker, to everyone required. A lot of the time you're involved. Well, from what I'm hearing is that um, a lot of the time with, with other realtors or possibly with clients, they actually have to shoulder that burden themselves and it comes in different ways or it could come late, which then delays things and could cause problems. Well, in, in your particular case, the agreements that come up for you are always on a timely basis. The agreements are always written very well. They're always very clear. So it's very easy as for to administer the agreements. So as soon as we get them, we set up the file, we check the title, and then we're in the position to call the client back and talk to them about the terms of the agreements. Perfect. Thank you.